the past 300 years, Iran has only defended itself and defended itself in a most valiant way. You remember when Saddam Hussein uh, attacked Iran? Most of you do not want to remember that. When Saddam Hussein attacked Iran, everybody provided him with weapons. Nobody even provided Iran with the means of defense. And you ask us why we develop our missiles? How do we defend ourselves? What are the means that are left for Iran to defend itself? And Resolution 1929, my friend, is defunct today. It's not, it's not operative anymore. Today we have Resolution 2231 which does not make Iran, but just calls upon Iran, it's no longer mandatory, not to produce missiles that are designed to be capable, not capable, designed to be capable of carrying nuclear weapons. We do not have nuclear warheads, so we are not designing anything to carry nuclear warheads that we do not have. But missiles are the means of our defense. If you're concerned about military expenditures, go talk to your governments not to sell so much military hardware to our region. $130 billion worth of military hardware is being sold to the Persian Gulf region alone. A hundred, this is not my figure. This is Secretary John Kerry's figure. And the highest estimate of Iranian military expenditure is $15 billion. And we have a population of all those countries combined together. We have armed forces which, is, which exceeds the, their armed forces combined together. But we spend the tenth of their military expenditure. We are entitled to our defense within the norms of international law. But we are prepared to cut defense spendings in the region mutually, not one-sided. We have already... We are already spending a fraction of what others are spending on military hardware. So if missiles are the means of our defense, we're not targeting anybody. We're targeting anybody who attacks us so that they won't attack us. Because we were attacked and everybody stayed quiet. We were bombarded with chemical weapons and everybody kept their mouth shut for eight years. Maybe you want to forget it. We can't. We can't forget it in Iran. We can't forget the fact that I went to the President of the Security Council. This is a personal experience. I went to the President of the Security Council in 1986 and told him, Mr. President, Iran is being bombarded with chemical weapons, and he said, I can't listen to you. And you know, as long as Saddam Hussein was in office and in Iran, violating our territorial integrity, there is no single Security Council resolution condemning his use of chemical weapons. The first Security Council resolution on Saddam's use of chemical weapons was issued after the end of our war. So I think it's important while Iran wants to work with the international community, while Iran is open to work with Europe to reduce the concerns and tensions in the region, believe me, we're not the ones who have to gain your trust. We both need to gain each other's trust. 